Before you begin watching this tutorial, you must ensure that you are an Apple user, using an iPad or iPhone, and not using a Mac, because the font downloading app that I will talk further about isn't available on Mac, and that is also not available on other device brands, like Microsoft, Android, and Samsung. With that said, let's get on with the tutorial. After you have already installed the font downloading app called Fontier, either on your iPad or on your iPhone, you can then enter it. The plus sign on the top left side of the opened app indicates that you can create a new font album to store your fonts. The edit sign on the left side next to the plus sign obviously means you can edit font albums, whether it's a deleting or installing process according to which one you have selected. Go create a new font album, give it a name, and there you have it. Once you have done that, it's time for you to add in fonts. Hooray! Press the plus sign on your right and there you have two options. One is from Google Fonts and the other from Font Squirrel. Choose either of these, and begin selecting the fonts you like. Then, press add to collection if you're happy with that. If you want to instantly install them fonts, just click on either option of installation. Personally for me, I choose to install fonts via email, but if you want to click on the non-email version of the installation, then you can do that. But if it's not working for you, then you can switch to the email version. That's totally your decision. In fact, there is a tutorial on how to install fonts from Fontier regularly without sending an email, so you can check that out. Anyway. Click on either option. If you're installing via email, enter your own email, not anyone else's. Once you've done that, wait until it's at the ready, and next click on mail. Click on that file which is the round square shaped one. Press that, and that will lead you to go to settings and install the profile. Follow the final instructions in settings, and there you have it. Now if you go to any editing app, such as Kine Master, you will see that the fonts you have downloaded are finally there. And that concludes my tutorial. If I have made some mistakes in my tutorial, you can notify me. Until next time.